Shalom, Makim. This is Yah Batazak coming back with another video. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yah Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth. Alright, uh, Salakia, earlier, man, I made two videos and uh, for some reason the audio wasn't on. So now I'm back to uh, redo those two videos, Lord willing. Um, but first, I'm going to get this one done uh, to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and read Matthew 24 and 12. And because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Right. And that's happened through process of time here in 2017. The love of many, ha uh, the love of many has waxed cold. All right. Talking about you uh, so-called Christians, self-proclaimed Christians, uh, the ones that claim that they have some form of godliness or uh, love in their hearts and that they want all people to be united. Well, that doesn't mean shit, man. All right. What, what what means that you have love is by fearing and obeying your power, which is Yahweh by Shemi Shai, who you people fail to acknowledge as your power, who you people fail to uh, worship, revere, okay, acknowledge, which is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. All right, and we're not and we're not in the time of love. We're in the time of hate. We're in the time of great hatred. Okay, you hate us, we hate you. All right, that's where that's where 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 we stand, man. Okay, the true men of the Lord hate this world as far as who governs and rules it, the 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 the, the wickedness and the violence that's in the earth, the unrighteousness. All right, the unrighteous decrees. All right, we hate those things, man. We hate evil. We hate these false doctrines that are out there. We hate that everything is out of order, man. And it's okay to to hate, cause the scriptures say to hate. All right, that's what I'm, this video is about. Is basically that we're not in the time of love, we're in a time of hate. And if you're loving everything, you're not in the right spirit. The Lord ain't dealing with you, man. All right. So, to the process of time, from the time of Yahweh Shai up to now, the love of many has has waxed cold, meaning that you fail to obey the commandments, because a lot of you people don't know what love is. All right, and I'm gonna show you what what love is. All right, let's go to First uh, John chapter five, verse three. For this is the love of Yahweh that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. So that's what the the love of the Most High is, man, by keeping His commandments. All right, and and people nowadays they don't care to to uh, acknowledge and uh, rehearse the righteous acts which are the commandments. The law, statutes, and commandments, man. That's how we know we could say that we're not in the time of love. All you got to do is look outside the window, man. Watch your TV, the television, and you're going to see all the violence that goes on in the earth. All the slanders. All right. All the uh, the false witnesses that are going on in the, in, the, in the world. At your workplace. The adultery that's going on in your workplace. The, uh, the indoctrination our children are facing. In the school systems, the pedophilia that's going on in the school systems, in the churches, okay? You people fail to, to, to rehearse and, and to go uh, according to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah's ways, man. That's why he's coming back with great, uh, uh, with great wrath. All right? I'm going to go to the second book, Second John, verse chapter 1, verse 6. And this is love that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that, as ye have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. That's right, man. Walk in it how? To the spirit, man. All right. Through your, through your, uh, through your conduct, your, 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 your actions. That's how you show the Lord you love him. Okay? But it's not going to bring love to, to the earth. Because right now, the earth is governed by evil men. Okay? Uh, Job 9 and 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked who changes the faces of the judges there if not where and who is he okay basically he's got all you people deceived and believing in lies man and it's a so called white man the Edomites you got black Edomites you got uh, so called Hispanic uh, uh, Edomites alright e Esau's in every nation just like Israel scattered in all nations okay but that's what the love of 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 Yahweh Shai is. 
And it's not to be twisted because the love that you people want and say that it's here, it does not exist. Because the violence out here outweighs more, outweighs uh, everything else that you people consider as being good or kind or loving. People are dying every day. Uh, just, just not too long ago, a brother put up a video about some fucking transvestite, whatever the fuck it was. Uh, raped a 10 year old girl in the, in the restroom man Name of Gil Martinez It calls it calls his fucking name a show What kind of shit is that That ain't fucking love man And that's every single day That you got these weirdos out in the world man But you look at us Thinking that we are the ones to, to be feared And to, uh, to uh, That we're the worst thing on the earth Fuck you man If anything we're giving you people life We're giving you hope man because this word is the only thing that's going to give you that. It ain't me. It ain't the next brother. It's this word through, through us. Yahweh Shai is, is, is giving you this message, man. The words of life. The engrafted word which is able to save your souls, man. Alright? So we're not in a time of love. We're in a time of great hatred. It's like you. Let's go to... Let's see... I know it's in the book of uh, Hosea. It's Hosea 9 and 7. It says, it says, The days of visitation are come. The days of recompense are come. Right? And right now the Lord is visiting you uh, uh, by by certain uh, men that are on the highways and the byways, man. Starting with GMS. Elder Tahar all the way down, man. All right? The days of recompense are come. The word recompense goes back to the word to be paid back. To repay. All right, and the Lord is going to repay you with uh, with with great uh, torments, man. Vengeance, fire, with the sword, man. All right, and right now he's 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 recompensing you through the men uh, that are on the highways and the byways, rebuking you, trying to set you in order. All right, it says the days of visitation are come, the days of recompense are come. Israel shall know it. The prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is mad. For the multitude of thine iniquity And the great hatred You see We're in a time of great hatred We're not in a time of love man You hate us We hate you Okay So That's where we're at man We're not in the time of love Okay Let me go ahead and go to John chapter 15 And start at verse 18 if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. That's right. So Yahweh Shai is verifying to us that we're you, you are going to be hated, man. Why? Because the world hated me first. Talking about Yahweh Shai, who you call Jesus Christ. All right. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. See? And you're going to respect and love. You're going to accept the world is going to love and respect his own, man. But because we ain't. You're going to despise us. You're going to uh, 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 persecute us. Bear false witness. All right. Uh, 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 try to find any kind of fault against us to, uh, to to say that we ain't no men of the Lord or this, that, and the third. Because we're not of the world, man. So what does that mean? That you hate us. You dislike us. Hate is just a stronger way to say I don't like you. Okay. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. So this, this prophecy is being fulfilled right now in this time in 2017, man. And look at the letters are in red. Who's speaking? Yahweh Shai. So is he lying? All right. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. That's right. So you don't even know the Father. You don't know his Son. You don't know the Father. You don't even know what the Holy Spirit is, man. You don't even know what, you don't even know what the Comforter is. A lot of you. Why? Because you don't study. And the Lord ain't dealing with you. All right? You're not you're not uh, uh uh learning. You're not studying yourself 
You're not studying to show yourself approved unto the Most High. Okay? But all these things are going to happen to us. Why? Because we follow after the true power, His Son, Yahweh Shah. And you people despise that name. If we came in the name of Jesus Christ, y'all people would accept us. Okay? But we don't, man. We're here to we're here to uh, uh, to uh, rebuke and to re, uh, usher in the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and to edify and to cast down strongholds, man. Anything that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we're go, we are instructed to cast it down and to combat against it, man. Verse twenty two. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had they had had not sinned. But now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hated me hated my father also. That's right, man. It says, if I had not done among them the works which none of none other men did, they had they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. So Yahweh Shai, y'all hated Yahweh Shai, man, when he was on the earth. Y'all crucified him. Y'all gonna do the same thing to us. If the Lord permits, Lord willing, he don't allow that. All right. But it says, verse 25, But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. That's right, man. You hated us. You hate us without a cause. Because we're speaking the truth. Because we're, we're, we're rising up against your false doctrines. All right. Your religion. Which religion goes back to religio, uh, the Latin word religio. Which means to, 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 to be restrained or bound. Okay? Let me go ahead and go to, uh, let me see where it's at. Another scripture real quick, man, because all we're doing is speaking the truth. We're doing exactly what the Lord set for us to do. You churchgoers, y'all ain't rising up against nobody. Alright, y'all are just, you're just speaking to your, your congregation. Okay? You ain't even uh, trying to stand up for truth and, and the way the Lord said to do it, to be a prophet, all right? A prophet in old times, real quick, let me go ahead and bring it out, all right? A prophet just means uh, 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 someone that says something before it comes to pass, comes to pass, all right? Uh, just like the word prophecy, you prophesying of things that, that haven't happened yet, all right? Uh, Jeremiah 28 and eight the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence okay just like i read that one in the hosea chapter 9 where it says the spiritual man is uh is mad okay so the prophet is a fool all right that's what you're supposed to be doing man you're supposed to be presenting yourself a living sacrifice all right, uh, Hosea nine and seven has said that the the prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is mad. That's right, man. Spiritual man is mad, and the prophet is a fool. But the prophets before me, both, uh, and before the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old, prophesied against many countries and against great kingdoms of war, of evil, and of pestilence. You know. So going back to. Or going to Galatians. Let's see Galatians four and sixteen. It says, "Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth?" You see, because Paul Paul was a, a enemy because he he went and spoke the truth, man. Just like Yahweh was shy. They hated they hated him because they uh they they stood up for righteousness. We're not in the time of love, man. All right, and you're so, you're soon to see it, man. Soon you're going to see it when you're catching hell, when you're being uh, destroyed by uh, the animals and the elements. All right, this is in the book of Isaiah fifty nine and verse fifteen. It says, "Yea, truth felleth." And he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey, and the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. You see? 
So the ones that depart from evil and they rise up against uh, evil, they stand up. 